All right, to all my people out there on YouTube. All right, what's up? Hey, how y'all doing? I am your boy, George. Yes, say true, true. I am the true truck driver. Yes, I am. I'm the true truck driver. Yeah, everybody else want to be, but they can't be. I am the true truck driver. So what I'm getting ready to do is put you guys up on some game and some knowledge. I'm hoping I'm going to get ready to teach you guys everything there is to know about logistics, freight, owning one of these trucks, booking your own loads, becoming a broker. I can help you. Yes, sir. I can help you. Some of this stuff, I'm just giving away the knowledge itself. I'm paying it back because I went through a hard time myself. Guess what? I'm not going to let y'all go through a hard time. I'm going to build this bridge so you guys can cross over. Okay. I'm not going to tear it down, bust it up and leave you guys stranded behind. All right, so we're gonna get into this government contracting. You do not need um, somebody that you gotta pay for. There are companies out here called PTAC. They work for the government, okay? They're in every city, state, it is, around the country, around the United States, even overseas. PTAC, P-T-A-C, PTAC, okay? These are retirees that work for the government, helping with government funding, loans, um, the SBA, you name it. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. But first, what I need you to do is do this for your boy. Hit that subscribe button down below, and guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna comment on everybody who's commenting to me, good, bad, the ugly. Some of them don't like me because of what I'm doing. Really don't give a damn. Don't give a damn. I am doing it, okay? So. First of all, I want y'all to go to Sam's, Sam's, S-A-M-S dot G-O-V, Sam's dot gov. I want you to register. There's a link down below. Nah, it's not gonna send you to somewhere else where you're gonna end up uh, buying something from me. It's a real link. Maybe, matter of fact, just the website. Where is that? You'll see it in the description. I'm probably on the next commercial here. Go to Sam's dot gov. I want you to go in there and sign your company up to start hauling government freight. I know some of you guys don't have the time because you're driving one of these trucks. You're going all the time. By the time you get home, you want to barbecue, have a cold beer, sit back and relax. Well, guess what? In order for you to grow, this is what you're gonna have to do is sit behind that computer, all right? You're gonna have to sit there and scale your business up and stop thinking small-minded, start thinking, I am a millionaire already I am a millionaire from what I am doing today and tomorrow because government contracting you there are so many loads to bid on all right so much freight if you don't want the government in your business and you ducking and dodging not paying taxes this time don't sign up because they going in it they're gonna look all right um, so it's thousands so first of all, once you go into sams.gov, you're gonna sit there, you're gonna complete the paperwork. Once you complete the paperwork, well, online application, there's one part of the application you're gonna have to print out. It is called the amenity uh, entity administrators, all right? Who are you naming? Um, president, CEO, the one who receives the rate tender, the person who negotiates for the contract. Um, the bank account information. You're gonna have to print that stuff out. You're gonna have to take it to your local bank or you're gonna have to take it to a notary. They're gonna have to sign off on it. Before, there's another step in here while you're doing this online application. It's gonna ask you for your telephone number because the government is actually gonna send you a link to your telephone once you get to that certain part because they wanna verify your identity. So as soon as it gets to that one particular part, your computer's gonna stop. The link's gonna come to your telephone. You're gonna have to pull out your driver's license or identification. You're gonna take a picture of it, the front and a picture of the back. It's gonna take a few, it might take a few times. I think it took me maybe six times and then all of a sudden it went through, it unlocked my computer. I was able to move on to the next step. They are also going to send you a cage code, C-A-G-E, a cage code. That cage code is like a five, six digit number, almost like a SAT code that references 
you and your company, all right? You gonna need to know, do you haul ground, air, vessel? You gonna have to put in all your stack codes that you run up under, all right? That's how the people in the government are gonna be able to find you. Do you have any certificates, minority certificates? Are you gay, lesbian, you name it, uh, straight, minority, black, white, ladies? Um, it doesn't matter. If you have a certificate, it's even better for you because some of this government stuff is set aside just for those certificates um, and, and people that hold those certificates, right? So you need to already be done had the certificate or you're getting ready to get it. Some of uh, the stuff on there, if you want to get certified while you're on the page, they have links on the government website that will walk you right directly to where you get certified at and get your certificate. Some of these certificates are three, four hundred dollars and they're going to look back two years to make sure you have two years tax returns that have came in. All right. And if you don't, they also say they will take people who don't have two years worth of tax returns, but sure they have a bank account, a debit card linked to that bank account and some other information, um, your driver's license, social security card, saying that you are a United States residence, okay? You belong here, you did everything, um, you're born and raised here, you are a minority, you live in a diverse neighborhood, um, you name it, they're gonna ask you for, for some of these things. Also, your state and local government also has certificates for free for minorities, okay? Um, and anybody that wants to get a certificate for the state of Florida, state of Georgia, Alabama, each state has a certificate that you can fill out, send your paperwork to them. It takes sometimes two or three days. They might ask you for some more information. Those certificates last. I think our next one is due... Uh, in 2000, I mean 2025, because those certificates are like three to four years. They're not like the yearly date when, um, that we normally do um, throughout the government and stuff like that. So that's sams.gov, sams.gov. If you're having a hard time filling out the paperwork, what I want you to go is over to PTAC. You, you've seen it in the description. I uploaded it to this video. Call PTAC on the telephone in your local area. Take all your paperwork. Tell them what you're trying to do on the website. They will schedule you an appointment. Go down and walk through it with them, okay? Your login, username, password, all this stuff you're going to need to remember because you're going to now start to work with the government. That's why I say you got to have a bank account. If you don't want these people looking at you, man, stupid, okay? Buy your tax returns. Don't go down there. Don't upload nothing. Cause you trying to hide, duck and dog, trying to hide. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You don't want the people all up in your business. I do, I don't, I, it don't bother me because that's what's gonna keep me growing and getting those 70, $80 million contracts. You guys out here wondering why you can't grow and take it to the next level is because you're not taking and investing into yourself, okay? Not just sitting behind the wheel of that truck. When somebody says, hey man, you wanna go out to the club tonight or you wanna go out for drinks? No, I gotta get behind it. Let me do my work first. Let me establish my company so I can go out and buy another truck or two trucks or three. I need to get my business credit up so the bank will actually give me the borrowing power and the lines of credit that I need, okay? All right, the next one is FEMA. You can go over to FEMA's website, Federal Emergency Management Agency, okay? They also, this is a part of government, they also have local bidding where you can bid on their freight. They move freight all the time too. They don't just move army tanks and when a natural disaster happens, they move stuff to get prepared for hurricanes, um, fires in California. They move things all the time. All right. If you guys didn't, um, a little while ago, I 
put out a video on TikTok and said, hey, now is the time to get everybody signed up. If you want to get signed up with FEMA, this is the time. It started back in October. You had to upgrade your insurance to 150, I believe it was $300,000. It's only cost you $1,000 extra on your policy. Um, hurricanes are not all the time you know there's not a disaster all the time so some people can't handle paying the extra on the insurance so a lot of the brokers end up getting that freight because that's the type of insurance they carry year round okay all the time they carry this insurance so if you don't want to get involved with that um with fema um or you do go on to fema's website and look it up and it just go in and type in how to do business with FEMA. It's gonna walk you through the steps, okay? There are quite a few steps. You actually gotta take a class, all right? Online, nobody's gonna sit there and watch you, but they're gonna send you a link. You gotta pass by 80% in order to work with FEMA because there are certain tabs in there that you must be manually able to go in, touch those tabs, print out bill of ladings, um talk to government um, employees that work for fema um there are certain steps that they want to make sure you know what you're doing all right when you bidding on their contracts or when you bidding on a load this is why all the brokers have that freight some of them estes which is a freight company also a broker landstar that's another one so don't get pissed off when you say I can't do it or I don't know you know the brokers are cheating me out no nope. I told you where to go I showed you where to go and do this for yourself if you like anything I'm talking about I want you to hit that subscribe button right now bing just hit it one time for me we're gonna blow this YouTube page up so I can keep doing it um, we're gonna talk about postal contracts also yes postal contracts I know the people yeah every year they have a big conference every single year they have a huge conference the conference lasts four days yes it do you can be invited to go to one of the conferences okay you can haul mail throughout the year for the post office can okay, now that's one agency you will have to negotiate on a six-month term because that's the way their contracts work on six months. Some of them might be three months. They'll tell you exactly how many miles, how many gallons they expect you to use. Um, one I bid it on was $224,000 for six months. All it required was one truck, all right? One truck. I got outbid it, I think it was by $5,000, all right? It, so, hey, it is what it is. I didn't win the contract. Hey, I'm not mad. Uh, I wish I would have got it, but because then I could put a driver in a truck, pay him a decent salary. The company makes money. He has a, a, a decent route for six months. That's all he doing is going back and forth, back and forth every day, back and forth. The same route every day. So um, look it up. United States Postal Service. How to do business with the United States Postal Service. The next one is... I'm gonna save it for you on the next video. But first of all, I wanna say I thank you guys for following me on the TikTok, the Instagram, the Facebook, the YouTube. I wanna tell you personally, I thank all you guys that's out there. And if you're a true trucker, put your hand across your heart. Yeah. Put me a do sign out there and say, true.